Hello, my name is Liam Neely, and this code turns MIDI data into raindrops. So if we look at the code here, um, I'm taking in MIDI data and I'm cycling it into, uh, into a certain number of raindrops. This can be any number, but I chose like, I think it's around 20. Um, so if we go into the actual code for the raindrop, uh, well, first let me show you what the raindrop looks like. So I don't have any sound hooked up, but I have the MIDI hooked up. So if I just hit uh, any MIDI data, it will create a ripple based on uh, how hard I hit the note. So if I hit the note really hard, then it'll create a big ripple. But if I hit it really, really uh, softly, then it'll create really tiny ripples. It'll disappear really fast. Um, so if we look at the code for it, uh, I'm taking uh, in the pitch velocity and then the note on and off. So the pitch is just saying, it's pr practically the same thing as note on and off right here. Um, but the pitch is just telling me I played a note, uh, therefore recognize that there is uh, there should be a new ripple. And then I have the velocity uh, deciding how big the ripple is. So if I hit it really hard, then a uh, big ripple. Uh, hit it really soft, small ripple. Um, and then I have it uh, over here. Uh, this decides where it is on the screen. I have it so it randomly puts it somewhere on the screen so that uh, you kind of get the better idea of rain. Because uh, rain will just like, it'll hit random spots on the screen and it'll be more random. Um, and uh, the color portion here is what makes it fade away. I make it fade into this, into the gray color right here. Uh, see it turns from white and then fades into gray to make it seem like it's disappearing and the ripple is fading away. Um, and I think that's everything about the ripple one. It's not the most complicated, but I think it's quite fancy. Okay, thanks for listening.